In this video, I'm gonna walk through step-by-step -step on how to create a rag with a Superbase vector store. We're going to walk through step-by-step -step on adding our file from Google Drive into Superbase vector store, and then we'll be able to add a question and answer chain that we can interact with that document via our workflow here. Um, I try to find how to add credentials of Superbase to my NNN. I could not find it. I had to go through like five different tries to figure this thing out. So I'm gonna walk through step by step and show you what to do because adding your credentials to NNN, there's not a lot of videos on it. So it was very difficult for me to go through and um, uh, figure this out because you have to actually uh, add this code right here to your table in the SQL editor. So I'm going to walk all to all of this step by step by creating the project, adding the tables. You don't have to worry about anything. Just follow me step by step and you'll be good to go. For those of you who are new, my name is Zubair. My YouTube channel and my school community is all about building incredible AI agents with NADN. We have a great active community with business owners, with people who are looking to learn how to automate their, their businesses, their use cases for personal use cases. We have people from all over the world. Our members are incredible. So you'll be able to interact with them, make connections, and you also have access to all the classroom sections. And most importantly, all the templates that I've created for my previous YouTube tutorials and also for the future ones, and also deep dive topics that I'll be continuously adding on different things about NADN. So that way you fully understand and and you can add automations to your businesses or build amazing AI agents for yourself. I'll put the link in the description. Hopefully you'll join, I'll see you there. All right, let's get started. Um, I already created a workflow here named VDB example, Superbase. Uh, our first step is gonna be a trigger. I'm gonna use a manual trigger because we need to add uh, this to our, um, um, our document to our database. So uh, the next step is gonna be, I'm gonna add a Google Drive. You can add whatever um, you're using as far as the document uh, goes, where document where your documents are sitting. So whether you're using Google Drive or some other form of document that you have, you can attach that separately here, but I'm just gonna use Google Drive. So you search for a Google Drive here note, and we need to download a file, right? Because we need to download the file that's inside of our Google Drive so we can upload it to our vector database. I already have my Google Drive set up. Uh, the resource is gonna be file, operation is gonna be download. And if I click on from list, this is gonna load all of the documents that are inside of my Google Drive. I'm gonna select the constitution.pdf. This is just the US constitution. I've downloaded it as an example here. So I'm gonna click on test step. This is gonna download the file now. And as you can see right here, if I click on view, you can see that our file got downloaded and now it's inside this node. All right, great. So that got downloaded. Now we need to add this document to our vector database. So we'll click on our plus button here. And here is where we'll search for vector. And when you see, um, when you see, these are all the different vector stores that NNN has integration with. So the top three popular or most popular being the Quadrant Vector Store, Pinecone, and Superbase. They have Zep and um, Postgres uh, Vector Store as well, but obviously these three are the most popular one. Anyway, so we're gonna select uh, Superbase. So I'm gonna grab that, whoops. Superbase Vector Store, and we need to add documents to our Vector Store here, right? Because we're grabbing our file from our Google Drive here and adding it to our Vector Store. So I'm gonna click on this. All right, so here's where we set up the credentials. Right? I'm gonna start from scratch so that way you can follow me step by step. So you're gonna click on new credentials. You're gonna head to, you can click on this open docs because that way we can go directly to our Superbase account. So you wanna make sure you have a Superbase account. Once you have that, you're gonna go directly to your Superbase um, and log in. And once you log in, then you'll be brought right here. So this is blank. I don't have any projects right now set up. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. You're gonna click on new project. We're gonna name this project NADN. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can type in a password, select the region you're in. I'm in the West Coast, so I'm just gonna select that. Click on create new project. Now this is gonna create your project and then it's gonna give you um, the secret, this service role secret. So we need to copy this. So I'm gonna reveal this and copy it and then paste it um, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna scroll down and grab your project URL right here from project configuration. You're just gonna copy this, go back here and paste. And you're gonna click on save. Now your credential is saved successfully. You have your account connected. And as you can see right now, if I 
click on this from list and choose. It's blank because we don't have a table that we need to add. And here's where kind of the tricky part comes in here. So let me go back to my project here. There you go. So this is my account right now. I have this project. And if I go to table editor here, right here, you can see I don't have any table. It says create a new table. But instead of doing that, here's what we need to do because this is a tricky part. We need to head over to our uh, click on docs right here and you're going to click on this quick start setup for vector store. It took me like five tries to figure this thing out, but I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Just copy exactly what I'm doing. Otherwise, this is going to not going to work for you. So make sure you're copying exactly what I'm doing. You're going to click on quick start. Um, for the vector chain and vector store and then um, you're gonna just copy the SQL code right here don't worry about it don't change anything and of course this is if you're using open AI embedding that's very very important and I'm going to show it in a little bit what that means when you're adding your embedding model so if you're adding a different embedding model let's say if you're using uh, llama or something else then make sure that th you uh, change this but anyways um, I'm gonna use my open AI embedding model so I'm just gonna copy this code head back to my Superbase vector store, come here to the SQL editor, and then just literally paste that. That's it. All I have to do now is click on run, and it says success, no rows returned, but right here, as you can see, document storage and search was created, all right? So now if you go back to our table editor, now you can see there's this table called documents that got created with this column content, metadata, and embedding. All right, so you're gonna leave everything as it is, don't touch anything, go back to your um, NADN, and now if you click on this, this should load, let me go back here, list, click on choose, now it should load that. There you go, now we have these two uh, doc, um, tables that got loaded. Don't select that, that's just, I think, a table that gets generated from that SQL function. You're just gonna click on this documents and you're all set. Another thing is you need to add a query here. So you're going to click on option and just leave the query name as match documents. This is just by default. So just leave it as it is. All right. So now if we get out of this, now the embedding model, we need to add the embedding model here, right? So the embedding is essentially as I um, talked in the previous videos for uh, this deep dive series on vector databases. In the previous sections, as I explained, embedding models like the embedding model by OpenAI converts the data that you're um, uploading into numerical representation. So that way it can easily search through it whenever you're querying it. So anyways, but if you wanna watch, if you wanna go through the details again, watch the previous sections again. Um, and for those of you who are not in my school, <laughs> you're not gonna understand this because I'm doing this deep dive series um, for my school community. So um, I have several sections here where I, where I go through details of how vectors and vector databases work. So, but anyways, so um, for the rest of the folks, just grab the embedding model here. I'm just gonna grab the OpenAI one. Um, so you have several options here when it comes to OpenAI. These uh, three models are available. Um, so I'm just gonna collect the, select the small one. This is good to go here. Now we need to add a document loader because we need to be able to load the document that's inside that Google Drive into this vector database by splitting it into chunks. So you're gonna grab the default data loader. So this here, we're gonna select the data type as binary because we want to be able to add any type of file into this vector, data, uh, vector database. Uh, you're gonna leave everything as it is because this data format will be automatically detected by meantime. So that way, whatever document we upload, it will be able to detect that and add it to the vector store. We need to split this document into chunks by a text splitter. You can either split this via tokens or you can split this via characters. And I'm gonna go with this recursive character text splitter. So as far as the chunk size, depending on how big your document is, play around with the different chunk size. And if you don't know about which chunk size or what chunk size to use for what type of document, just put this in ChatGPT or Claude, uh, the exact length of your document, and then tell, tell it to generate what will be a proper chunk size and a chunk overlap for that particular length of document. Since mine's a small document, um, I'm just gonna leave uh, the chunk size at a thousand and then the chunk overlap. So this is where, when this is dividing your documents into several chunks for it to be processed by uh, into this vector store, then you wanna make sure you add um, 150 or 200 character chunk overlap. So that way it doesn't miss any data that's inside of those separate chunks. All right, 
So we're good to go here. I'm going to leave it as it is. All right, perfect. Uh, so now let's go ahead and test this. I'm just going to click on test step and this should be able to go through and add our document. As you can see, this is working and hopefully this will work and then our table will be updated. There you go. Perfect. So now if we go inside, now you can see my document got split into several chunks and it got turned into vectors and then it should have been added to the table here. If I go back, there you go. Perfect. So now I have my table uploaded with the data there. All right. So we're good with this part. Now let's go ahead and add a vector stored retriever here so that way we can interact with this document, right? And the way to do that, I'm going to go ahead and utilize um, the question and answer chain. So if I just type question and answer chain, this is going to come up. So this is going to utilize a large language models to be able to interact with a um, uh, retriever that we can add to this. And in our case, we're going to add our vector store retriever. All right, so let's go ahead and add our model. Uh, this is where, because this is a question and answer chain, meaning it's going to rely, it's going to have some form of a logic. So therefore, it's going to rely a, uh, on a large language model that we can attach. Um, so uh, um, you need to make sure you're attaching a large language model here. In my case, I'm just going to attach my GPT-4 mini. Um, and then we need to add a retriever here, right? So this is where we need to add a vector stored retriever, which is right here, and leave the limit as it is. Uh, in the vector store, we need to add whatever vector store we saved our data in, in our case, Superbase. So I'm going to grab that. And the same thing from here, all you have to do is uh, you're going to leave the operation as retrieve documents for agents and chain. And you're going to uh, click on this and this should load that table that's already on your Superbase account. So I'm going to click on document. And then again, make sure you add an option with query name so that way it has that match documents in there and you're pretty much done here. So you're gonna get out of this. We'll come back and grab this here and we need to add another embedding to this so that way we can um, grab our information from there. Embedding, same thing, leave it as it is. All right, so now we're pretty much set. So hopefully if we did everything right, now we should be able to interact with this vector store that we added our file to or our data to via the chat message because this is a question and answer chain. If you're adding a AI agent, then make sure you provide the prompt inside on whatever you want it to do. Here, I've just said take from previous node automatically, meaning this is gonna be taking it from our chat trigger here. All right, so let's go ahead and interact with this. I'm gonna click on chat. So I'm gonna ask it a question that is specifically related to the document that we uploaded, which was the Constitution of the United States. So I'm just gonna say, what is the second amendment right so now it should be able to pull that data from inside that vector store perfect there you go so it says second amendment of the united states states a well-regulated military being necessary to say yep that's exactly it and if we see on the logs here it reached out from the question and answer chain went to the vector store retriever went to the super base vector store used the embeddings and then used the open ai chat model to respond to us Everything worked out perfectly. Let's try it again. What is the fifth amendment? Okay. I want to make sure it can answer multiple questions. There you go. Perfect. All right. So it looks like everything is working and we're good to go here. Let me get out of this. And as you can see, now everything is all set. All right. Well, Again, I could not find this on YouTube, this step-by-step -step guide on how to add because of the this, this um, where'd it go? This step right here. Again, I've, I looked at other guys who have put um, their videos about Superbase, but none of them go through and just simply explain. All you have to do is just step-by-step -step grab this, go over there to the project and just add it without touching anything else, right? Like, again, I had to do this like four or five times because I was running to every single error there was. But anyways, so hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.